Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing this Myberg uh, 20 volt, one and a half amp uh, battery powered drill. So, uh, just like many drills, you have a torque setting here uh, and you have a slow and fast mode. You have the push in and out reverse and it does have a light in the front. Uh, we'll get back to the drill here in just a second, but the other stuff that it comes with, it does come with a small hardware set. There are screws and anchors for those screws. It also comes with some drill bits and it comes with some flatheads. It looks like, uh, yeah, flatheads, Phillips, and Torx bits. Uh, it also comes with a few little drill bits and it comes with a reversible Phillips and flathead bit. Uh, those bits that it comes with, it's going to come with uh, the kind of universal style and it actually does come with one glass cutting bit, which is a little unique. I haven't seen another kit that comes with that. It does come with a cleaning attachment too. So you put that on the end and you can power clean things out like you can use this to power clean out your drill or something like that pretty well. And it comes with a uh, an attachment that allows you to screw things in tight spaces. Uh, these are pretty nice to have uh, in a pinch, especially if you have like a, you know, screw that's got like a little short space for you. You know, you can put that up there and you can use your drill on that. So that's a pretty nice little feature here. So uh, it does come with a battery charger, of course. This isn't a proprietary battery charger like you might get with some bigger brands. You can use this to charge the battery and the battery, okay, and it charges right on the top here. The battery also has a light up power indicator here, which is pretty nice. So if you press that, you know how full the battery is. And I have not charged this. This comes completely charged. So. Putting that back on, it slides pretty well. It's a nice secure fit. It does come with a lanyard, so you can hook that on and not lose, not drop the thing very easy. It does have what seems to be a die cast metal uh, part here, the actual chalk here. This is a metal component as well. This is not plastic. Um, and this is definitely uh, maybe nylon or something, a little bit higher quality than some of the other ones I see. On the back here, it uh, pretty seamlessly transitions to rubber, which is really nice because if you drop it or this impacts, the rubber will bounce a little bit, which will allow it to remain a little bit longer. The handle's rubberized and it does fit my hand pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and put a bit in it and we're gonna drill through this piece of oak I have right here. And this is a uh, red oak I'm drilling through. So this is a hardwood. And, oh, that's something that's nice to see. So if I turn this to drill, it has a lot of resistance, so I can actually torque down the drill bit. Some of them don't resist at all, and you can't torque down the drill bit without trying to grab the little tiny thing on the side here. So it thankfully doesn't do that, and you can actually grab that pretty well. So drilling through this, well, let's turn it up to drill. went right through pretty easy. So I wasn't being particularly nice to it. I'm just pushing it in by hand here. So that went through pretty easy um, through a uh, three quarters inch piece of red oak. And that's a pretty hard wood. So seeing it go through that, it definitely went through there pretty well. The drill didn't seem to have any problems. The bits are okay, but the drill seems pretty good. So overall, I think if you are looking for a drill and you are looking for one in this price range, this will probably be the one you're going to want to look at. Um, pretty decent drill, uh, definitely one of the more sturdy feeling drills, and I've, I've reviewed quite a few of these, definitely one of the sturdier feeling drills that I have reviewed. So hopefully this video review has been helpful for you, and thank you very much for watching.